guys, Boonlike Rock here, and welcome back to the Sea of Thieves Adventure Log. A new series on the channel where I will be providing a guide for the latest adventure, along with exploring a bit of the lore behind the adventure along the way. If you want to catch up on the story so far, a link to episode 1 is listed right up there on the info card. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, and put that pineapple on the stove. Let's gather around the campfire and tell a story. Today we are diving into the newest Sea of Thieves adventure, Forts of the Forgotten. Just like the previous adventure, it begins with our favorite build rat, Lorena, who wants us to- Come over here! I have a favor to ask! Thanks, Lorena. Talking to her and hitting Begin Adventure will give us a bit of information about the repercussions of our actions in the last adventure. So, I hear killing those soul flame captains was not so smart after all. Bell tells me it weakened the boundary between worlds. Flameheart has been able to pull memories from the Sea of the Damned and imprison the folks from Golden Sands in them. They're old looking forts, forts of the forgotten. Hmm. That's got a nice ring to it. Take this note, Bell will fill you in on the rest. She's waiting for you at Golden Sands Outpost. She says that killing those Soul Flame Captains wasn't the best idea, since that has now weakened the boundaries between the Sea of Thieves and the Sea of the Damned, allowing ghostly sea forts to emerge. We are tasked to head to the only island that is still covered in that ghostly green fog, Golden Sands Outpost, to speak with Belle. Here at last. We have work to do. Greetings! I now know which memories Flameheart has chosen to bring forth from the Sea of the Damned and why. We must act fast. There's no time to waste. Flameheart has taken the inhabitants of Golden Sands. He was seeking a new right hand in Wanda's sister. But just like her sister, she is stubborn. These people are little more than pawns in his game. Should she continue to refuse him, he will have his phantom jailers dispose of them. The forts are here. I fear for the souls of those trapped within. There are fates worse than death within the Sea of Thieves. She tells us that Flameheart has brought these memories from the Sea of the Damned to imprison the inhabitants of Golden Sands Outpost. More specifically, Wanda. Not to be confused with Wanda, the warsmith, rather her sister, the weapons keeper Wanda. Stay with me here. Belle tells us that just like her sister, she is stubborn. And if she continues to refuse Flameheart, he'll have the phantom jailers watching over the imprisoned shopkeepers dispose of them, sealing their souls away in those boxes of wondrous secrets. How do I know this? Well, as Belle says, there are fates worse than death in Sea of Thieves. And to me, this seems like the only logical explanation as to where they're going to be headed. Let me elaborate on the story a bit that's unfolding before us. When Flameheart disappeared from the skies, it is clear that he used his power in the Sea of the Damned to cover islands around the seas in that ghostly green fog, revealing the memories of the Sea of the Damned into the Sea of Thieves, including the dark ritual that the Reaper's Bones and the Soul Flame Captains were performing. As we were stepping into these shrouded islands in the first adventure, we were basically stepping into the Sea of the Damned. And by tampering with these memories, it has caused the boundaries between the Sea of Thieves and the Sea of the Damned to be weakened dramatically, allowing Captain Flameheart to bring forth these Spanish fortresses to imprison those captured from Golden Sands Outpost when that boundary was at its weakest, including Wanda. 
who is the sister of Wanda the Warsmith, a member of the Dark Brethren, who was previously known as the Masked Stranger. She was also the one who we helped build the Reaper's Hideout. And we can see here in the trailer that there is somebody else with her. A new Masked Stranger, who is sporting some familiar feathers on her shoulder. Under a bit of a closer inspection, we can see that this new Masked Stranger is in fact Amaranta from the Sea Dogs, who mysteriously went missing after the closure of the arena. It's clear to us now that Flameheart is not the only one who is after the imprisoned Wanda. The Weapons Keeper, not the Warsmith. With this new information, Bell gives us a mission to rescue these imprisoned shopkeepers before it's too late. We get a note from her with four objectives. Defeat a phantom jailer to recover the prison cell key, free the prisoners inside of the jail cell and speak to them to learn more, clear a fortress in each of the three regions of the sea, one royal fort in the shores of plenty, one prison fort in the wilds, and one overgrown fort in the ancient isles. And finally, bring her any enchantment vessel you find. More on that fourth one later. Heading to the closest fort to us, Imperial Crown Fortress, everything seems to be completely normal about this fort. Until it starts shooting phantom cannonballs at us! We can see that there are now two phantom reaper ships docked at either side of this sea fort. And as we dock onto this fort, a new enemy starts attacking us. The infamous Phantom Jailer. Hey look, it's that guy from the trailer! Defeating him will give us the long sought after Prison Cell Key. However, that won't complete our task here. In order for this fort to count for the completion of the adventure, we need to defeat the captain of the fortress and unlock the treasure hoard in order to mark it off as complete for the adventure. Unlocking that prison cell, we can see three of the shopkeepers from Golden Sands Outpost, including Wanda the Weapons Keeper, along with an enchantment vessel on the ground, which looks to be that same mysterious box thing that is on the Order of Souls. So this leads us to believe that Flameheart is actually using these to capture the souls of these shopkeepers. So it's a good thing we came at this time, otherwise we may have been a bit too late. Wanda is relieved to see us, but talking to her reveals some chilling information. She found out that Flameheart plans to capture an ancient, the ones that lived in the Sea of Thieves long before us and hold many secrets and have a lot of ancient relics with mysterious powers. If he truly is after one of the ancients, there must be a reason as to why. More on that a bit later. Talking to the other shopkeepers in the cell, we'll check off their names in the laundry list that is the deeds screen, where it shows that we have to talk to every one of the shopkeepers in order to receive the title for this adventure. Luckily, Wanda is in every one of the forts! For some reason but the rest of them are scattered all across the Sea of Thieves in different sea forts in every region. If you want the fastest route to completing this adventure, I recommend starting at Imperial Crown Fortress, then sailing south to Ancient Gold Fortress, and finally sail all the way northeast to Mercy's End Fortress. It's a lot of sailing. A lot of sailing. And once all three regions are in fact complete, we can return to Belle with the enchantment vessels that we found and sell them to her. Talking to Belle will prompt us to complete the adventure. You have saved the souls of Golden Sands and they will return home in due course. With the dark relics found, the fog will soon lift. 
though it does seem to linger over Golden Sands. Souls. Wonder. Ancients. How could I have been so foolish? The forts are only the beginning. Flameheart is seeking the Veil of the Ancients, an artifact capable of breaking down the barrier between the Sea of Thieves and the Sea of the Damned. Last I heard, it was in the belly of the Pale Beast. I know how to call it, but who is capable of... Merrick! I must speak to Merrick. As soon as I have everything in order, I will find you again. That's right. Flameheart is after the Veil of the Ancients, a relic that we've seen teased throughout this entire year so far, and is a very powerful relic that is much more powerful than the Shroudbreaker. It can permanently open a door into the Sea of Thieves from the Sea of the Damned, which may sound like a good thing because yay, more sea to explore, yeah! But this could also mean the end of the Sea of Thieves as we know it. And this could not be a good thing when Flameheart's in charge. You mean the giant head in the sky? For now, however, this is where we will be closing the adventure log until the story continues in The Legend of the Veil, a new pirate legend voyage which is launching a bit later in the season. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you like my content. I have a really big project in the works and I can't wait to show it off to you guys. Work is going smoothly, but it is taking a bit longer than I expected. But until next time, I will see you out on the seas.